students hope you all are fit and fine and we uh, we have completed nouns number now our next topic is nouns case see students what is nouns case right uh, if, uh, there are three types of nouns case that is nominative case objective case and possessive case now uh, let's see a noun may be used as a subject or object of a verb how when we use noun we use noun as a subject or object of a verb now what is subject subject means about what or whom the sentence is right that is called a subject and what is object object means whenever transitive verbs are written at that time objects are required and objects are always noun right and to show the position right so uh, when nouns are used nouns are used as a subject of the verb as a object of the verb and to show the position so we say that the noun is a nominative objective or possessive case respectively now what is nominative case when a noun is used as a subject of the verb it is said to be in the nominative case what is nominative case when the noun is said to be as a subject of the verb that noun is said to be in the nominative case for example rita played badminton right if you find out if you want to find out the noun as a nominative case then first frame question with we have to find out the subject right rita played badminton about whom the sentence is what is the subject of the verb or be played right so what is the subject of the verb rita right so rita is said to be in the nominative case next is uh, sonia bought a gold ring what is verb here first of all find verb verb is bought what is the subject of this verb bought sonia right then sonia is said to be in the nominative case next is the dog killed the mouse now here what is verb killed so what is the subject of this verb killed the dog right so the dog is said to be in the nominative case so students whenever if you want to find out the nominative case first of all find out the verb and then find out the subject of this verb right for example if we say ram ate ice cream now what is verb here ate right so ate is the verb so now what is the subject of this verb ate that is ram right so ram is said to be in the nominative case for example if we say ravi was a doctor now what is verb here was then what is the subject of this verb ravi then ravi is said to be as a nominative case now next is objective or accusative case what is objective case a noun is used a noun is used as object of the verb and it is said to be in the objective case see students we have learned that transitive verbs requires an object to complete the sentence so this object is is uh, nouns right so um, whenever noun is used whenever noun is used as the object of the verb then it is said to be in the objective case if noun is used as the subject then it is nominative case and when the noun is used as object then it is called objective case now for example the man hits the door the man hits the door what is verb here hits so after the verb what is used as object the door right so the door is said to be in the objective case for example if we say the cat killed the mouse what is verb here killed which noun is used as this a verb kill that is mouse so mouse is said to be in the objective case for example if we say saina nehwal plays badminton what is verb verb is plays right which noun is used as the object of this verb badminton so badminton is said to be in the objective case right students and this objects are may be noun or objects are of two type that is direct object and indirect object right now let's read what what is direct object verbs 
लाइक गिव आस्क ऑफर प्रोमिस चेल टीच टेक टेक टू ऑब्जेक्ट आफ्टर देम वन ऑफ दिस ऑब्जेक्ट रिफर्स टू द पर्सन एंड द अदर रिफर्स टू द थिंग दियर फोर द नाउन नेमिंग द पर्सन सी स्टूडेंट्स द नाउन विच इज नेमिंग द पर्सन इज लिविंग थिंग इट इज कॉल्ड इन डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग इज कॉल्ड डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट राइट आई रिपीट अगेन ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर ऑफ टू टाइप्स दैट इज डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड इन डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट वॉट इज डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स रिटर्न एज अ नाउन आर कॉल्ड डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड लिविंग बींग्स आर कंसिडर एज अ इन डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल द टीचर टॉट मैथ्स टू दिया फॉर एग्जाम्पल द टीचर टॉट मैथ्स टू दिया In this example, you can find out everything. What is the subject of the verb taught? The teacher, right? So teacher is said to be in the nominative case. Taught maths. Now taught is a verb. So what is the object of this verb taught? Maths, right? So maths is said to be in the maths is said to be uh, the objective case and. maths it's a non living thing so it is called direct object and to dia so dia is also a object but it is living thing right dia is a person so dia is called indirect object a kind man gave a kind man gave books to the ch child a kind man gave books to the child kind man so it's a gave is a verb so what is the subject of this verb gave kind man so kind man is said to be in the nominative case a kind man gave book now book is in the objective case right to the child now this object child and book are we have to identify that which kind it is see book is a non living thing so it is called direct object and the child is a living thing so it is called indirect object now see here next is a possessive case what is possessive case see uh, when a noun shows the possession right or indicates the ownership that noun is said to be in the possessive case what what is possessive case when a noun shows the possession or the ownership that noun is said to be in the possessive case and students when we show the possession at that time we use apostrophe s what we use apostrophe s and students there are certain rules that we have to follow when we use apostrophe s let's see the examples uh, the dog bite the girl's leg see students the dog bite the girl's leg C G I R L S, right? Then it becomes plural. So we have to show the possession. Kiska leg, whose leg? Girl's leg, right? At that time, after girl, you have to put apostrophe and then S, right? Vaishali found Gaurav's pencil. See, Vaishali found Gaurav's. If apostrophe is not done and only S is written. then it becomes many gaurav right so we are not supposed to do like that gaurav's pencil box means whose pencil box gaurav's so you have to write apostrophe s and students whenever if you want to find out possessive case at that time you have to frame question with whose whose book whose pencil box whose teacher right amisha lost her friend's water bottle and this is his car we, we can use uh, his car my car your car their car these types of words we can use to show the position right that is mina's dress c m i n a s then it becomes many mina we are not giving all many mina's dress right we, we are not supposed to do the plural plural we are not supposed to do the plural but if we want to show the position whose dress minas right so at that time we have to do apostrophe and then s right now uh, there are certain rules at the uh, if you want to frame 
possess possessive case of singular noun then it becomes very easy that after the noun you have to put apostrophe s right girls boys first year girls room in this way but sometimes plural nouns are given for example girls girls b o y boys brothers sisters plural nouns are given and at that time how you can form possessive uh, noun uh, see s is already given right brothers b r o t h e r s brothers and if you want to show the possessive noun right at that time you have to put apostrophe after the s and you are not supposed to write again apostrophe and then s not don't write s again just write down apostrophe right you have to write down just apostrophe after the s sisters right s is given right so you have to do only apostrophe ah you can write apostrophe s yes, both but don't do right s is given so just you have to do apostrophe now sometimes what happen plural nouns are given but they are without s for example oxen children m e n men w o m e n women right at that time if you want to show the possessive case use apostrophe s so students in simple method you have to keep in mind that singular noun without a singular noun and you have to do apostrophe s plural noun with s only apostrophe and plural noun without s do apostrophe s right some nouns singular noun ends with s for example bishwas right and your s is given and you can do only apostrophe right and students be careful whenever you are showing position of non living thing at that time you are not supposed to write apostrophe s but you have to do of we cannot write chairs hands we cannot write clocks hands right we cannot write le uh, tables legs don't do like that your answer will be wrong we have to write legs of table hands of clock right hands of chair in this way right now let's recall what is what first of all what is the case the nouns are the nouns are may be used as a subject of the verb it may be used as the object of the verb or it may be it may be used to show the position that is called the case now there are three types of cases nominative case objective case and possessive case now what is subject um, what is nominative case when the noun is used as the subject of the verb that noun is said to be in the nominative case for example rahi uh, baked cake now what is verb here baked what is the subject of this verb baked rahi right so rahi is said to be as a nominative case uh, for example if we say mamta taught english or mamta teaches english what is verb here teaches what is the subject of this verb teaches that is mamta right so mamta is said to be in the nominative case now our nouns are used as the object of the verb that noun is said to be in the objective case for example i explain then mamta teaches english right so here what is verb teaches what is the object of this verb teaches english right so english is said to be in the objective case and objective case are of two types that is direct object and indirect object non living things are considered as a direct object and living things persons are considered as a indirect object and the last one is the possessive case when noun is used to show the position right and that is called possessive case and we use apostrophe s to show the position and for the non living things we are not supposed to use the apostrophe s but you have to use of thank you students आभार 